So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make the best bow in Valheim, the Dragger Fang bow. This is a very OP bow. It has a really small drop-off rate compared to other bows, and also it automatically poisons enemies with your arrows. Plus, if you use, for example, a fire arrow when you're shooting it, it'll not only poison them, but it will set them on fire as well, meaning you can actually double up on the effects that you give your enemies. So let's take a look at this thing in action, and then I'll show you guys everything on how to make it, including where to find all of the necessary materials. So here we go, guys. We're going to shoot this boar that's up here. You can see this is like I'm aiming slightly above it and boom it's gonna kill it so in terms of like how far uh, above you have to hide this thing is like really not much at all and you see that like just from like a small couple of hits on the ball it will kill it and there's a bird right up in the distance there and it's even uphill and just by aiming slightly above there we go about there oh, it flew off right away okay let's try this one right here and again uphill slightly above and boom that bird is gone that is why this thing is so so useful so let's see how we can make it so to make the dragger fang bow what you will need is a forge and it will need to be a level two you see mine here is level four so once you've placed your forge the way to upgrade it is if you get your hammer out and go into the crafting area there's a number of different things that will say forge improvement underneath them so you see you've got like the tool rack the cooler and the smith's anvil and there's things like that that you can place nearby you see i've placed them nearby here so you're going to need to place down just one of them with your forge because each one will add one level that's why mine's on four because i've got the tool rack the cooler and the wheel thing grinding wheel that's it <laughs> and then what you need to do is obviously go to your forge and the dragger fang you see these materials right here the the, uh, the ancient bark, silver, deer, hide, and guck. So then simply hit craft right there, and boom, you've got yourself the dragger fang bow. Once you have the bow, it's good to upgrade it. So to upgrade it, you can go into the upgrade section of the forge, click on the fang, and then upgrade. You'll need the bark, silver, deer, hide, and guck each time you upgrade. So we hit upgrade here. We're about to have ourselves a level two dragger fang. Now, if we wanted to do this again, we'd now need 20 silver and so on and so forth. So you need more materials each time in order to keep upgrading it. So you have to go out and grind out getting lots of silver and guck and ancient bark and that sort of stuff but once it's fully upgraded this is a seriously powerful bow okay so two of the materials can actually be gotten from the swamp and that is the guck which you'll find on these guck sacks on trees like this we're going to come on to that in a second and also the ancient bark and you get ancient bark from ancient trees so you just need to chop those down you see i'm doing this here just with a bronze axe and when they fall you'll just be like normal trees and you'll chop them up and eventually what they will drop will be the ancient bark so there we go i went ahead and i got three ancient bark just from that tree right there now as for the guck obviously we need 10 of those and the way to get this you'll see it kind of goes up the tree like this this is actually quite a low one you often won't get one quite so low as this so the way to do it is you need to take with you some uh, materials some wood and your hammer and stuff like that to make up a bit of a crafting area so we go ahead and place that there and then we can place down some ladders to get to this stuff right so we can start climbing up the tree so for this one right here we can literally just like stand here go ahead and grab our axe and hit away at the guck sack and once you hit it enough times if you don't fall off uh, then it will drop some guck okay there we go so i just destroyed that one and we got two guck from that one so in terms of going up higher i'll show you guys now what we're going to do is just go ahead and grab ladders like this and start wrapping them around the tree a little bit now what you want to do as well is when you come back down from this do make sure to destroy the wood because you're going to get it all back then and it'll mean you have to bring a lot less with you so we're going to keep building up like this and there we go there's the next one now at this point a couple of things are happening first of all this is going orange which means our building limit is about to be out and second of all in order to get to this it's going to be better if we just place like a floor down here so then what we can do is just stand on the floor right here grab our axe out and just swing away at the guck axe and we'll pick up some guck there some might fall to the floor like you see there but we'll grab that in a second but now what we've done as well is by placing this floor down we've now got to like start again with our building in terms of like it's not going to fall down whereas this was orange if we placed another one it'd be red this one's good because this is attached to the tree so it's got that foundational support so again we can go up here and here's our next one so we maybe like want to build up again it's a little bit fiddly but it's certainly doable and then at this point you can just place down a bit of floor like let's see place a bit of floor like there there we go and oh don't do that basically <laughs> Okay, so yeah, do be careful not to fall, but I got back up and I can swing away at this again And we're just going to keep doing that all the way up the tree to get all of the guck that we need Of course, you only need 10 for this bow, uh, but you might need more guck for other things as well, right? But then when you go back down, do just like break a lot of the stuff as you go and then pick up the wood And then uh, you can go and do this with multiple trees if you do it that way And from those three guck piles, we managed to get 11 guck, which is of course enough to make up the bow So in order to get the silver, I did a full guide on this in my last video And I'll put that down in the pinned comments for you guys to check out But essentially, you need to head 
head to a mountain biome, take with you a wishbone and right click that to activate it. And when it starts pinging, you need to use one of your iron pickaxes to dig down, find the silver and get it that way. Silver cannot be teleported, so you'll need to walk it or boat it back to your base. And then you can smelt it down into the silver bars that you will use for this recipe. So that right there is how you make the dragon fang bow and use it and all that sort of stuff here in Valheim. If you like this video and want to see more Valheim content, please do consider liking and subscribing. It truly is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you want to hear some dad jokes, then stick around for my outro. But for now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. So, you know what stories Vikings used to tell their children? Nursery rhymes? Yep. I was going to tell you another Viking joke, but there's no way that you'd laugh at it. So, uh, so yeah, apparently now I do dad jokes in the outro. This is, this is now a thing, guys. Enjoy.